on the board, you will be soldering on four TI chips. Assuming this is the top of the board, they are located, uh, here's the upper right portion with LED. One, two, three, and four. These surface mount chips are arguably the more most difficult soldering that will be done on this board. So I recommend that you begin with these components so that if anything goes wrong, you don't have to worry about interacting with other uh, or uh, messing up anything else. The placement of these components is indicated by a little half circle at the top of the PCB located right there and there to indicate the top uh, of the chip. The chip itself does not have that divot. Instead, it has a yellow line to indicate the, the orientation of the chip. In order to place the component on the board, I recommend using a set of tweezers and aligning it very carefully. Soldering is best done by soldering on a single pin of the component, ensuring it has a solid connection, and then soldering on the opposite diagonal pin. In addition, I recommend that you use an ultra fine tip on your soldering iron in order to guarantee that no solder flows across either of the pins. Uh, if that is the case, to remove the solder, you take the solder wick, apply it across the pins in question, and place the soldering iron between to remove the solder. This will introduce flux, but it guarantees no errors in your components. <clears throat> For the purposes of this video, I will attempt to dodge my webcam and solder this, solder at least one pin so you can see <clears throat> the methodology behind it. So that solder of that single pin is holding the entire chip intact. If I want to realign it to ensure that the other pins are well placed, they are pretty close, but I'm gonna be a bit of a perfectionist here. And just adjust slowly. And there you go, now the chip is aligned. Now that first pin may be, have some cold solder on it because of my, my interaction here. Eh, it's actually, it's in, yeah, it's well aligned, perfect. Um, that first pin may have some cold solder on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, at the end of soldering all the other ones, I'm gonna let that one, I'm gonna re-solder that to ensure a solid connection. So I'm just gonna quickly go through, rotate this for the sake of convenience, and briefly go through soldering some of these pins. The remainder will be done off camera, but I just want you to see roughly how this should go. You shouldn't need to apply heat for an extended period of time as you don't want to damage the component. Just enough to let the solder flow. Um, The remainder will be, whoop, 
I apologize. Oh, yeah. 